to another Silicon Medium video. We really enjoyed that with X2D. Today on the test bed we have the Linux distribution that I am very familiar with, Solid XK. Solid XK is a Debian based distribution with a few enough turns and wrinkles in it to make it very interesting. In fact, I used to run this on my Linux workstation for quite a number of, quite a, quite a decent amount of time. Solid XK, based on Debian, of course, uh, by default is based on Debian Stable. Uh, what has happened is, uh, with urging from the developers, the community has come out with enthusiast editions based on Debian Unstable. Uh, what you have in front of you is Solid X. I should point out that there are two versions of Solid XK. There's Solid X, which uses XFCE as a desktop environment, and Solid K, which uses KDE. Today we're, we're taking a look at the XFCE variant. Solid XK got its start uh, with Linux Mint, actually, and it's based a lot on the ideas and philosophies of Linux Mint. It became its own distinct distribution after Linux Mint dropped its LMDE XFCE version. It's a lot of acronyms. Basically, LM Linux Mint, there's another version called LMD, Linux Mint <coughs> Debian Edition. And when Linux Mint developers dropped support for the XFCE version, Solid XK was born. Once again, we're looking at the Solid X uh, uh, variant. This is the Enthusiast Edition. Unlike the regular Solid XK release, this one is based on Debian Jesse's 8.1 Unstable branch. Now, while people might think that Unstable means dangerous, in the world of Debian, Unstable is more stable than many other distributions, quote unquote, stable releases. But then again, just to be forewarned that this is based on Debian Unstable, which in day to day use is actually quite. Uh, quite stable to begin with. Uh, also, uh, the mantra is to make a simple to use and stable operating system, daily driver as it were. So we're going to take a look at this Solid X Community Edition Enthusiast Edition. Uh, right now Solid XK is number 66 on DistroWatch. And uh, in this reviewer's opinion, it should be ranked at much higher. But as we go through the system, uh, you'll make your own um, assessments. Uh, after installing Solid X from the latest ISO and running the updates, and I'll show you soon that it does have a very capable update manager, uh, the system is using kernel 3.16.7. Not the most recent, but it is uh, Debian. Uh, and uh, this is a very stable and 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 uh, well uh, recommended kernel. Uh, I should also point out that the uh, community editions also have one for the Raspberry Pi called uh, Solid XK RP i2. So if those with Raspberry Pi might want to check it out if you want to run Debian on your uh, Raspberry Pi. So let's get started, shall we? The default desktop after installation is quite clean. Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, this is something that I like quite a bit. I like the clean appearance. Very nice XFCE desktop. Very well appointed. Uh, all The only icon we have on the desktop is the home icon. Of course, that blows up when we just put our cursor over it. Let's open it up and see what file manager they're using. Looks like Thunar. Let's go take a look. It is. Thunar 1.6.10, uh, as of the recording of this video, this is the one that will, the version that you'll get uh, after running updates, of course. Very capable, uh, very well known uh, file manager. Not much to see here, except to know that this is, uh, this is one of the good ones. And uh, of course, uh, I believe it's the XFCE default. Uh, people may correct me on that. Uh, as we move to the right, we have, of course, uh, sound level. We have the update manager. We'll get that in a second. Uh, indicators for the network. Network is definitely connected. VPN connections can be configured right out of the box. I've seen that in a number of uh, present-day Linux distributions. Bravo. 
the Ford Manager, something that I use quite a lot on both my Linux, all my Linux desktops. Uh, let's start with the Update Manager. Let's see what happens. We have a quick update. Uh, if you right left click, you have the uh, options for quick update and you have the option for open up the update manager. If you right click on the icon, you have preferences. Let's check the preferences while entering the password, of course, for security. And uh, check status every one hour. It's not necessarily that much. I can easily change it to eight. Here you have the mirrors. Uh, United States is checked off. I could easily check off Canada. That's where I am. But we'll leave it as it is. Blacklist of pages. You can blacklist certain thing, uh, updates if you'd like. Save. Let's get out of that. Let's start the update manager itself. If you look carefully, it's going through uh, Debian testing repositories as well as solid XK's own repositories. I don't know if you caught that. So definitely based on Debian and stable, but at the same time going through solid XK's own repositories for their own uh, software that they maintain. Uh, being based on Debian, you have incredible amounts of, of, of packages to choose from. That's one thing that you won't suffer for. Let's move over to the left side. Once again, DMR pops up with the file manager here. Properties and whatnot for a right click uh, to create another panel or add new items and whatnot. Here we have, of course, if you have a lot of <coughs> to explode the desktop or store uh, the minimize menus or minimize windows. And let's go to the application menu. Here we have the favorites. Firefox web browser is the default browser out of the box, which should make a lot of people comfortable. Let's move aside, let's go to that side. Um, you see we have the community editions here, and this is the one we're using, the Enthusiast edition. That's what EE stands for, EE, and we're using the Solid X EE 64-bit at the moment. So. Firefox being the default browser will make a lot of people comfortable. Uh, know that uh, being Linux, in particular Debian based, you have a choice of quite a few more different browsers. Uh, I like to keep things simple, except for my browsers. I usually have three different browsers installed, that being Chromium, Chrome, which I'll show you how easy it is to get, uh, Firefox, and uh, I have a soft spot for Opera. Uh, Mozilla Thunderbird is the default mail and, uh, of course, the newsgroup program. I use this as well on my Windows desktops, and uh, it's a fantastic program. Uh, it's, go, it's my daily go-to program. LibreOffice included by default. Uh, I like that. I like that. It means that you can be productive right away in terms of creating documents. Uh, that was the first one, why, by the way, it would be quicker to start if I had uh, done it a few other times. And it's included, which is um, excellent. Here we have version 4.4.4.1.0 plus, whatever that means. But it's a fairly up to date version, and uh, you can be productive right out of the box, which is good. Software manager, which we'll get to in a minute. minute. Terminal emulator, of course. Can't live without that under Linux. Definitely not. Uh, here with the categories. Uh, here with recently used, programs that recently used, our favorites, which is what pops up by default. We have all software settings. We'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, we have accessories. And Solid XK does come loaded with very uh, a good selection of quality software. Antivirus, Clam, not exactly the best out there per se, but still fantastic to have it included in the distribution. And Kafka Search, of course, uh, 
Press is digest, GPK hash. That's nice to have. Lucky backup, backup and synky data. Very simple interface. It's a little bit busy. Uh, still a very uh, worthwhile program to have, especially when it comes installed from scratch. Uh, Midnight Commander. Oh my gosh, I've spent so much time in Midnight Commander, it's not funny. There's like various Linux distributions. I still install it if it isn't there. Uh, very capable uh, CLI-based file manager. And we only have play on Linux of course, install Windows applications. Uh, this is another thing about Solid XK, it, it aims to uh, ease people's transition over to Linux if that's necessary and it does achieve it to a great extent. Um, for newbies I would consider this, uh, I would rate this as good in terms of getting people to run Linux 24-7 but we'll get to that a little bit later. Sensor view, of course. Uh, okay. Still running in a virtual causes it to freeze a little bit. Uh, archiver, burn, of course, to burn. I don't know why that's under accessories. Generally, that would be under multimedia, but uh, that's where they put it. CD uh, and DVD burning application. In other distributions, this would be placed under multimedia, but I'm not going to fault them for that. Uh, graphics, of course, we have Document Viewer, GIMP, of course, New Graphics Draw, uh, Shot Well, Organized, uh, pretty much everything that you need right out of the box is here. Internet, uh, Pigeon Instant Messenger, uh, Remote Desktop, not familiar with uh, Vernina, I'd like to give it a try at some time, uh, but uh, definitely uh, to connect to... Uh, your desktops and whatnot. I guess akin to Team Viewer or Maya. Uh, VMC Server, another one to shield the desktop. Of course, this is the server, so people can connect to you. When we go to multimedia. We have the audio mixer. Interesting. Okay, also mixer. A little jazzed up there. Exhale. Exhale. Music player, uh, music organizer, VLC, uh, pulse audio volume control, and here we have again XF Burn. This is on here as well. Office, document viewer, and the whole LibreOffice suite of things. Orange calendar, orange calendar. Sorry, let me one more time. Uh, the calendar. Uh, we'll move over to system. And we have some very useful utilities, disk usage analyzer, uh, package install, lucky backup, midnight commander, configure printer, you want to add a printer. Uh, a lot of these are available in the settings uh, panel, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, of course, uh, Solid XK does use System D, I should point that out as well. Uh, update manager, which we already took a look at. Your Solid XK welcome screen, which will come up when you start fresh after install. A lot of relevant information here and links and whatnot. At the top, we have some interesting things here. We have, of course, lock your screen, switch users, burst of power, and we have this icon, which we can get to in different ways. This is the settings. Solid XK comes with uh, a graphical settings manager which is present in a lot of different distributions in one shape or another. Uh, Solid XK is not uh, is very easy to con to 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 uh, manage using these GUI tools. Uh, you'll see, and of course, appearance desktop. A lot of the things that you'll see in other distributions is here. Uh, make it quite simple to deal with in terms of managing your system without having to drop to uh, to a, a terminal window. Display. Oop. Let me bring that back up here. There's an easier way to get back to that. Go back to all 
settings, user drives, power manager, device driver manager. Uh, my understanding, and uh, if I've used I've used this before in the mint, is uh, this will look for proprietary drivers. For example, you have an NVIDIA or uh, AMD API card installed, or other uh, hardware which may be serviced by both. It's probably functional, but also uh, proprietary drivers might be available for it. It'll search your hardware, see what's there, and tell you what's available. I like that. Makes installing stuff a lot easier, in particular for NVIDIA card users if I'm buying a card from that card. Um, Sambashir, of course, great safe session and startup. Firewall, firewall is no pain, very good. NPM for the manager, settings editor. All in all, um, very complete out of the box setup uh, that Solid X will give you. Uh, I should point out that performance wise, it's it's quite quick. I mean, it is running on a fast system as it is, but I've tested a number of different Linux distributions in the same environment, and uh, this one is quite responsive to all my inputs and whatnot. It's uh, it's a pleasure to use in that regard, at least. Right clicking on the desktop brings open this menu. We have uh, create Samba Share here. Nice if you want to share uh, folders. Uh, this would, of course, be the desktop folder. We have desktop settings. You can change the wallpaper. It's interesting that all the wallpapers that come preloaded are the same, but it's very easy to get wallpapers here. Uh, you get uh, different ones. It's not a big deal. I'm just like all Linux distributions that I've seen, well, the majority of them, the vast majority, it's very easy to tailor and change it the way you want it, the look and the feel of it. Um, I am impressed by XFCE. I remember XFCE from years ago, and it's come a very, very long way. Uh, I remember at one time, uh, this is a number of years ago, I kind of saw it as a very fast but incomplete. Now, Years later, I'd have to say that XFCE is something I could live with 24-7. Uh, Desktop properties, of course, emblems, permissions, and whatnot. Uh, and here we have another application menu. Uh, this, is, this is nice, and it may take some getting used to for those who are Windows refugees, as we call them, but... Um, uh, the way things are done in Linux, but it's not, it's, uh, Linux does a lot of things, well, depending on the distribution, of course, the developers, what they've decided to implement in their GUIs, a lot of things that under Microsoft Windows would take uh, extra add-ons and whatnot to accomplish. Uh, that being said, uh, while Solid X comes out of the box looking very simple, very stately, um, love the look of it, it's it's extremely powerful and it sits on top of one of if not the at least arguably the most respected distributions out there which is debian uh irrespective of it being based on debian stable again i'll repeat myself one more time for clarity's sake just because it says debian unstable does not mean that it is actually unstable in a day-to-day -day basis um, uh, i also have to mention one caveat this is a community edition or a community based enthusiast edition which has direct support of the developers so it's not like someone just decided on their own to create a off, uh, uh, off spin or some kind of fork no this is known of supported by and uh, uh, actually this effort is very much uh, called upon by the developers of Solid XK. Uh, so in terms of support, you've got it. I like how you can right click and you can actually get to your applications. Again, um, if you've seen some of my other videos, I like consistency. And presently, I'd have to say the king and queen of consistency have to be elementary OS. 
but in terms of usage and consistency of presentation, um, the ease of use right out of the box, Solid XK, and we are looking at the Solid X Community Based Enthusiast Edition, ranks very highly. Um, I would give this a, a run and highly recommend that anybody out there looking to settle into a Linux distribution uh, give this a serious look. Uh, if the idea of being based on um, Debian Jesse 8, version 8.1 and a stable branch bothers you for whatever reason, it doesn't bother me at all, but if it does bother you, check out one of their uh, editions, their regular editions, which are based on Debian stable. And that's the video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope uh, if anything, uh, I see some comments, uh, queries, critiques. And uh, if you'd like us to take a look at maybe one of your favorite distributions, uh, please just uh, put it in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Thanks a lot and uh, thanks for watching another Silicon Media video. We appreciate uh, uh, peak subscribers very, very much. We're a growing channel. We've only been around a little while, but uh, we're dedicated in what we do. and. Uh, bring you the best uh, reviews not just of Linux we'll be expanding in the future uh, but of all things tech thank you very much for watching